The Overlay tool allows you to easily identify changes in your drawings when revisions are issued. When using Overlay, you can see two drawings at the same time, one laid on top of the other. When the images are stacked in this manner, OST changes the appearance of the drawings. The original drawing displays in red, and the new drawing displays in blue. Where the two drawings align, the image appears either as a grayish or purplish tint. However, where the drawings are different, you can clearly see the red and blue colors stand out. Anything in red is from the original drawing and is no longer valid. Anything in blue is from the revised drawing and is more up to date. To help you remember, we simply state red is dead, blue is new. You have two options for adding revisions to your project. We'll discuss both scenarios. Let's start by discussing how to bring in a single image file from here in the Image tab. Navigate to the icon toolbar on the right side of the screen and select the Add Overlay button. A file explorer window then displays. Navigate to the folder where your revised image is stored and then select it from the list. Then select Open. Two things then happen. First, the original image now displays as red in the background. Second, an overlay window displays, which helps to walk you through the process of adding and aligning your revised image so that it lays over the original image correctly. The pop-up window first asks you about the orientation of the revised image. If the new image is aligned differently than the original, you can use the rotate or flip buttons along the right side of the window to reorient the new image. You want to make sure that the orientation matches the orientation of the original. Once the image is oriented correctly, press Next. Now the revised image displays on top of the original image, and you should be able to clearly see the blue and red colors. The program then asks if you need to de-skew the overlay image. Basically, did the new image come in crooked? This tends to happen frequently with scanned in images. If the image is straight, select No and move to the next question. If the image is off-center, select Yes. If you select Yes, a new window then displays with instructions on how to straighten the overlay image. It basically tells you to find a blue line that is supposed to be horizontal, and then to trace that line from left to right. Find a line and zoom in as needed. Click and drag your mouse along the blue line, and when you release your mouse button, the program corrects the skew of the revised image. Now another pop-up displays, asking if you need to resize the overlay image. This can be useful if the architect draws the revisions in a different scale and it's sized differently, or if the image was saved with different page size dimensions. If you say yes, just like with the deskew option, instructions display on the screen, guiding you on how to appropriately resize your image. Consult the user guide for more details on the resizing process. Once the image is deskewed and sized properly, you might then need to make some additional tweaks to the alignment of the overlay sheet. To make these adjustments, once again navigate to the icon toolbar on the right, and this time select the Align Overlay button. Two green circles then appear on the image, which allow you to align the image in different ways. If you hover your mouse over the circle on the left, and then click and drag, you can move the image around and drop it into place. For smaller adjustments, you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge the overlay image into place. Now that the overlay is in place, you should hopefully be able to easily identify the indicated changes in the revised drawing. When it comes to applying those changes on your takeoff, though, sometimes it's easier to show only the revised drawing, rather than showing both images in overlay mode. If you navigate over to the icon toolbar on the right again and select the Show Overlay button, the system then hides the original image and leaves only the revised image displaying. This cleaner view of the revision image can make applying changes easier. Note that you can select the same button again to toggle between seeing just the original, just the revision, or to see both images in overlay mode. Also be mindful that there are buttons on the right which allow you to de-skew, resize, and remove the overlay image as well. You can also access most of these same overlay functions by right-clicking on the image and selecting Overlay, or from the Image menu at the top of the screen. Now that you've successfully added an overlay image from the Image tab, let's discuss how to add overlays from within the cover sheet. First, let's open the cover sheet by selecting the yellow icon at the top of the screen. Once in the cover sheet, draw your attention to the bottom section where the list of images displays. 
you can see a list of all the images in your project with some details about each, such as title, page size, scale, and the image file column, which indicates that image's storage location on your computer. To the right, there's a column specifically for the overlay image's location. So here on the cover sheet, you can identify the storage location for both the original and the overlay image for that specific sheet. The last column, titled Show, lets you indicate if you want to see the original image, the overlay image, or both when you navigate to that sheet in the Image tab. Let's look at an example where you add a PDF document of revision images and establish the overlay images from here within the cover sheet. For the first step, let's establish a bit of organization to help keep our revision images separate from our original images. Add a new folder from the icons along the bottom, and then give it a name. I'll name this one Revisions. Next, add in your PDF. You do this using the same procedure you always use to add images into your project. So navigate to the appropriate file directory and select the PDF document. OST then takes that PDF document and breaks it out into each individual sheet. Notice that when you add a PDF, the drawings come in named with the original PDF file name. Because of this, you should take a moment and rename the sheets accordingly. As an aside, it's often easier to perform the renaming process from the image tab rather than the cover sheet so that you can actually see the image in its details when you're renaming it. Once the images are renamed, you can then click into the image file column for the revised image and copy the information using the Control and C Windows hotkey. Then click into the overlay image column for the original image that corresponds to the revision and paste the storage location using the Control and V Windows hotkey. Finally, click the drop down in the Show column to select both so that the sheet will display in overlay mode. You can follow these same steps to set up overlays for as many sheets as you need. In addition, if you need to reorient, resize, align, or de skew the overlays, you can do that using the buttons or the right click menu within the Image tab.